welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about the newest makeup trend out in the beauty world right now and that is strobing. Strobing is pretty much just using a crap ton of highlighter to give your skin a really youthful, glowy, dewy, almost wet appearance which I'm totally in love with. I love that like wet skin look. I think it looks very like JLo West. I'm sure that you've already seen a ton of videos on it already. Everyone's talking about it and what it is is pretty much reverse contouring. That was what makeup artists used to call it and then they kind of just slammed a name onto it and started calling it strobing. The name strobing came from the idea that strobe lights were used on models and photo shoots to kind of identify the glow points on their face for taking photos and stuff. It's not a new technique at all. Makeup artists and people have been using it for so long, but they did slap a really cool name on it, which honestly I do kind of like the name. When you think of strobing, you think of like disco balls and like lights, and it's just, it is a really cool name. So whoever coined that term, and honestly, I think it's kind of a marketing gimmick. I feel like they're going to come out with all these new palettes and highlighters and slap on strobing. Oh, the newest trend in makeup, strobing palettes and strobing highlighters. It's just highlighters. Like it's simply just highlighting. And it's really not complicated at all. Seriously, anyone with fingers can do it. The whole thing behind this technique is that it's pretty much anti-contouring, anti-bronzing, anti-defining. You're not carving out your cheekbones or carving out your face shape or anything. It's really just bringing light to the center points of your face to kind of enhance your natural features because a lot of people have a hard time with contouring because contouring isn't the easiest of techniques. It is really, really powerful and it can look really, really good. But contouring can also be a little bit too heavy, especially in the summertime. And there's just so many different techniques of contouring. There's so many different types of products you can use. And it is really tricky because you can watch as many makeup videos as you want on it and tutorials on how to do it. But when it comes to doing it on yourself, everyone has different features that they want to play up on their own face. And everyone's, like, even though there's a category of, like, face shapes, like, you can either have a round shape or an oval shape or a square and all that jazz, like, still, I think everyone's face is unique and different in its own way. And it's kind of hard to watch someone contour out their face shape and then you're like, that's not my face shape, but I'll do it anyway. So with strobing, you're defining features using light. And with contouring, you're pretty much changing up your face shape and defining features with darkness and shadows. I'm kind of putting my own little twist on it because strobing doesn't call for bronzing or blush or anything like that. I have seen people use blush. So I am going to use a liquid bronzer today and I know that it says, you know, throw out the bronzer, throw out the contour, but I feel like if you use the right bronzer, then it's just going to add to that glow because the one I'm using, it's not super matte or anything. Like I said, it's a liquid. So it really just gives your skin color and a little bit of warmth, but it doesn't define a whole lot. Like it really just gives your skin like a really bronzy, sun-kissed glow. And I think that just adds to the youthful, glowy, dewy appearance that strobing is supposed to provide. So that is what I'm going to do just to make it a little bit different, just to kind of add a little twist onto it, make it a little more wearable. Because with highlighter only, like, I mean, it takes away the definition in your face, which I know that's what it's supposed to do. Like that's what strobing is all about. But I just feel like it's a little too... Bleh. So I'm doing several different steps in this. I've seen super simple tutorials and I've seen a little more complex tutorials and just keep in mind that it's just highlighting. If you just want to skip all of this and use highlighter, just apply it to the points I'm going to mention in just a second. You don't have to do all these steps, but I'm just going to show you some extra steps just to take it a little bit further. Everything combined together is just going to give you a super dewy wet look and I think it's awesome. So I'm throwing in a bonus. I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite highlighters and just kind of give you some options. There's only one high-end product but honestly like it's not my favorite of all of them. But just keep in mind you can use any type of highlighter. You can use powder highlighters, cream highlighters, liquids and I'm pretty sure I have something here for everyone, every skin tone. So I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite highlighting products to use and we will get into this tutorial. Some absolute favorite highlighters are the ColourPop highlighters. These are absolutely amazing. They are so dewy and they just give your skin such an absolutely gorgeous glow. The shades I have are Wisp, and this is kind of like, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's kind of like a dirty golden bronze. It's going to look good on every skin tone. This is one of the most universal shades ever, and ColourPop has so many shades to choose from. They have literally something for every skin tone. Then the other shade I have is Spoon, and this is more of like a silvery champagne. This is going to be really good for paler or lighter skin tones. It is a little bit sparkly, but the sparkle doesn't really show up on your skin. It just gives your skin a really, really nice shine. And if you want to see a full review and swatches on these, I will 
link that video below. So my next favorite highlighters are some that I just now reviewed and talked about in a previous video, which I'll also leave below. These are the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders, and I have this in the shade Illuminati and Conceited. Illuminati is a really, really gorgeous, like, silvery champagne, but it's a little more universal. Like, I know I said Spoon from ColourPop is the silvery champagne, but this is a little more for lighter skin tones, and Illuminati is something that anyone can wear and anyone can pull off. It's just such a universal shade. Ugh, it's so beautiful. And this is the shade I'm going to be using today. And then Conceited is a rose gold. And this is going to be good for medium skin tones and up, especially if you have a tan. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so beautiful. Another one of my favorites is the Hard Candy Tiki Bronzer. And here's what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell much about it, but it's like a golden champagne it leans more toward golden and this is gonna be really good if you have oily skin and you just you don't want too much shine because it kind of mixes with the grease in your skin and it just it doesn't make a good combination it's not shimmery or sparkly whatsoever it just adds a really nice like glowy lightness to your skin this is another really universal shade and then another one that i don't hear anyone ever mention this is the hard candy contouring face trio in three times a lady and this highlight is absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna swatch it for you guys so here's what it looks like it is more of a pink can you see that reflection it gives oh my god it's so gorgeous and i don't wear this a lot because it is really really intense and sometimes it's too intense for every day but it's so pigmented it's so creamy and soft and then another one is the nyx illuminator in the shade ritualistic and this is more of a white gold shade this is another one that's going to be really universal for a lot of skin tones but um i would say this is more for light skin tones and up if you are very pale or very porcelain you may want to stay away from this because it does lean more golden it may clash with your skin tone but it is a really really pretty one nonetheless and then another one is the elf baked highlighter in moonlight pearl it's just a really nice champagne and it's not super shimmery or sparkly or anything so right there is the elf one and it's just so pretty if you use it wet you're definitely gonna get that wet look and it just it's so pretty it's only like three dollars and then for high end the only high end one i have is the bomb mary luminizer this is a cult favorite i don't gravitate towards this a lot because i have other favorites it's so gorgeous but it's extremely easy to go overboard with this because it is so pigmented and so opaque and it doesn't take much at all i've got it right there if you can see it but it's just it's a little harder to use because you have to use such a light hand and i'm not someone that likes to use a light hand with highlighters so i just i don't gravitate towards this a lot but it's 24 dollars but this is a really really good highlighter if you want to splurge a little bit and then for cream slash liquid i only have a couple i have the nyx born to glow liquid illuminator and this is in the shade sunbeam this is more of a pinkish toned highlighter this is going to be better for lighter or paler skin tones i have this cream highlighter this is in a stick form and this is the flower beauty glisten up highlighter chubby in the shade pearl shimmer and this is a gorgeous just champagne oh my god it's so pretty it's pretty much like the balms mary luminizer in a stick form it's only like nine or ten dollars so it's super inexpensive you can find that brand at walmart okay so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so this technique is going to be a little bit different with oily skin people um i do have oily combination skin but it's not extremely oily like i don't hold back on any highlighter but if you do have extremely oily skin then you might not be able to go as hard with this but i will show you guys what to do and stuff i've already applied my foundation and a little bit concealer under my eyes just to conceal dark circles and you definitely want to make sure that you use a moisturizer or some kind of oil or serum okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my bronzer and i'm gonna be using the maybelline dream bronze bb cream in the shade light medium bronze i absolutely love this stuff it gives your skin such a beautiful youthful sun-kissed glow and i think it really does add to the effect that we're wanting to get from the strobing technique so i'm just going to dot this on in the areas where i want a little more color and warmth so around the forehead and then pretty much in the hollows of the cheekbones we're going to be blending it up on the on the apples of the cheeks a little bit and then if you want to you can put some on the jawline but you just want to make sure that you're not carving or defining or anything you're, this is just to add warmth and a little bit of color i'm going to use a makeup geek stippling brush to blend that out and like i said in the hollows of my cheeks i'm kind of blending it up on my cheekbones a little bit but not on the actual cheekbone right here where we're going to be putting highlighter so if you do decide to use bronzer make sure that you blend it out really really well make sure there's no like contour line or anything Okay, so there is a 
bronzer. As you can see, it really didn't carve out or define anything. It just looks very natural. It just looks like I've been out tanning or something. The extra step I'm gonna do, just to kind of add a little more dewiness because you know that I'm all about dewiness. I'm gonna go in with an oil, oh, and this is the Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil Daily Treatment. So I'm gonna get a little bit on the dropper and then drop a few drops of this onto the sponge and this is the magic right here so i'm gonna put this everywhere we're gonna be highlighting so like i said on the cheekbones above the eyebrows down the bridge of the nose cupid's bow and then chin and like i said if you have oily skin then you can just apply it like on the cheekbones or above the eyebrows but don't apply this anywhere that you get super oily if you do have oily skin then just play around with it and see how it works with your skin so i'm just going to start stippling this on I'm also blending this down on my cheeks as well. So as you can see, it just gives your skin such a gorgeous luminosity and it just looks so healthy. But if you need to go back in with foundation, just a touch up or anything, go ahead and do that. But with this look, you don't want to powder a lot. So I'm just going to set my under eye area and I'm going to do that with the MAC Pro Emphasize Powder. This is a shaping powder or something. I'm just going to dab that underneath my eyes just to prevent creasing or anything. So if you have oily skin, you can go in and just powder your T-zone. I will go ahead and do that just to kind of show you that it does still look the same. So I'm going to use the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Translucent. I'm just going to set my nose. I'm pretty much just going to set my T-zone. So like I said, my favorite highlighters are the ColourPop highlighters, but I feel like I talk about those too much in my videos, so I want to switch up a little bit. And I'm going to use the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. This is the one I said was more of a champagne. It's very universal. And apply it everywhere that I previously mentioned. So right along the cheekbones above the brow down the bridge of the nose cupid's bow and then chin since we didn't use powder we're going to have to make sure that all this stays on so i'm going to use a setting spray my favorite setting spray is the l'oreal infallible makeup extender and set this face in place so that is basically it like i said if you want to go in with blush you can but if you do decide to go in with blush make sure that you use a very very small amount because blush isn't supposed to be used for this technique so i hope you guys can see that it just gives a beautiful beautiful glow So I think if you have dry skin, this is going to be absolutely amazing on you. I think you're going to love this. If you have oily skin, you're going to have to play around with it a little bit just to see what works for you and what works for your skin type. And if you have mature skin, I think this is going to look absolutely gorgeous on you because it's going to give you that youthful appearance and make your skin look so healthy and so radiant. But there are some drawbacks to it. So we already know that highlighting brings light to the face and it makes things stand out or pop out. So with that being said, if you have more of a round or chubby face, then if you apply highlighter all over your face it's going to make your face look a little bit bigger and it's going to emphasize the roundness of your face shape i mean if you have a round face or a chubbier face by all means go ahead and do this i do just want to mention that that could be a drawback because everyone talks about strobing but no one really talks about who it's going to be best for another thing i want to mention is that if you have acne you may want to stay away from this because as you all know like i said light and brightness draws attention to the face and if you have acne, like if you have major breakouts or cystic acne, or you know, if you have a lot of blemishes on your face, then most of the time shimmering products or highlighters are just gonna emphasize those. They're just gonna make them stand out and make the texture stand out more. So if you have a lot of texture on your face or if you have a lot of acne and blemishes, then you probably wanna stay away from this. But like I said, if you wanna strobe, by all means, go ahead and stroke. There are no rules. Find what works for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media. All the links are below in the description box as well as all the products that I use today. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah.